One of the things that the board challenged myself and the design team with was the silo. And uh, when we originally started looking at the silo, one of the ideas that came up was we could house the elevator in the silo. The logistics of putting an elevator and all those controls in a silo and then having a catwalk from the silo to the barn, it started to prove very challenging, not just uh, engineering wise, but cost wise. The function that that silo provides uh, I would say there's probably two functions that it could provide if we designed it a certain way. There is an ability to take those panels and put a, put whether it be the history of the barn or the history of the park, there is a way to display graphics and verbiage on some of those panels. Instead of making a history wall inside the barn that explains the history of Franklin's Park and as a working dairy farm and so on and so forth, we could put that out there on that metal paneling. The other ability of that silo would be that you can put some LED lighting in the, in the top of that and you could light that at certain times. But it would be a focal point in a beacon showing the barn as the flagship of the park. And of course, as we determined, as we went through our public surveys, the silo has a, a, a special meaning to folks. I mean, it showed up in a lot of the comments. Basically, you're looking at for doing all of this project, plus the silo, plus replacing the water lines that run up to this uh, $4.7 million. So we've reviewed the cost. I've had an independent um, cost estimator look at it. And then I also had the design team do it. So, so two different numbers. They were the delta was very low, so they were close to each other. So we, we currently sit on 4.2 million dollars. Okay. Uh, and we also have an additional 780 thousand dollars in water line replacements throughout the park, which this is part of that is going to be replacing these water lines. So uh, I plan on mm. on using those funds, but uh, still, unless instructed otherwise the silo would be an alternate. And obviously we're ways away from, from bidding this out. So um, I feel confident right now with where we are, with these estimates and where we are in the market, that we will be able to build this. Uh, I think there will have to be a decision made on the silo. So really it'll be a something that the board has to decide after we get the bids in terms of what we're able to do. I would say the, the same. I, I like the appearance of it. Um, I think the silo is important. I think it speaks to the heritage and history of the park. That was a terrible, horrible thing that happened to the people of Cabarrus County and certainly at the hands of a arsonist or a vandal or as much as we know about how that happened, but we are not replacing that barn. Um, we are building a new facility to serve the people of Cabarrus County and you know you can look at these renderings and, and tell very quickly that this is a building that will perform many functions that our former building would not. I like the look of this. I think it's got enough of the style and the essence of what used to be there that people will make that connection and allow for a lot of additional uh, functionality and uh, events and you know we've certainly talked a lot in the past about how popular the the old structure was and this is going to offer a lot of additional opportunities. I think y'all have done a great job. I, I really like it.